Have you ever wondered what happens during the adsorption process? Well, you're in the right place to find out. So, let's dive in. Adsorption, in its simplest form, is a surface process. It happens when a molecule or an atom attaches itself to the surface of a solid or a liquid. Picture a drop of water spreading out over a leaf, or smoke particles clinging to the walls of a chimney. That's adsorption in action. It's a common process, one that's happening all around us in nature and industry. You'll find it being used in a variety of applications. Think of water purification systems where impurities are captured, or air conditioning units where humidity is controlled. It's even a crucial part of many chemical reactions. Now that you understand what adsorption is, let's delve into what happens during this process, specifically looking at the enthalpy change. Have you heard about the term enthalpy change? It sounds complex, but it's quite simple when you break it down. Enthalpy change or heat change is essentially the amount of heat absorbed or released during a chemical reaction while maintaining constant pressure. Let's put this into perspective with a simple analogy. Think about sitting around a campfire. You can feel the warmth of the fire on your skin, right? That's because the fire is releasing heat during the combustion process. This is an example of an exothermic reaction where heat is released. Now imagine you're holding an ice cube. As it melts in your hand, you feel a chill. Why? Because the ice is absorbing heat from your hand to melt, which is an example of an endothermic reaction where heat is absorbed. So, in adsorption, the enthalpy change is the heat absorbed or released when a molecule or atom attaches itself to a surface. So, what exactly happens during the adsorption process when it comes to enthalpy change? Well, the answer lies in the heat flow. During adsorption, the system can either release or absorb heat. This is dependent on whether the process is exothermic or endothermic. Imagine a teapot on a stove. When you heat it, the water inside absorbs the heat and boils, right? That's an endothermic process, and the system's enthalpy increases. Now think about a glow stick. When you crack it, it gives off light and heat. That's an exothermic process where the system releases heat and its enthalpy decreases. So, in the context of adsorption, if the process is exothermic, heat is released and the system's enthalpy decreases. On the flip side, if it's an endothermic process, the system absorbs heat and its enthalpy increases. So the direction of enthalpy change in adsorption tells us whether the process is exothermic or endothermic. So to summarize, what did we learn today about enthalpy change in adsorption? We've journeyed through the fundamental concepts of adsorption, the surface process where particles accumulate. We've delved into the understanding of enthalpy change and how it's intimately tied to the adsorption process. We've discovered that the enthalpy change during adsorption signals the amount of heat absorbed or released. This thermal shift is our clue to whether the process is exothermic, releasing heat or endothermic, absorbing heat. This knowledge isn't just theoretical, it's vital for many scientific and industrial applications. From water filters to air conditioners, the principles of adsorption and enthalpy change are hard at work making our everyday life more comfortable and safe. Remember, understanding these concepts is crucial in many scientific and industrial applications. So next time when you see a water filter or an air conditioner, think about the adsorption process and the enthalpy change.